Hi Flight Crew, my name is Daniel Chinchilla and I'm a celebrity makeup artist and beauty expert. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to recreate Ari's iconic Legally Blonde makeup look from the Thank You Next music video. What I'm most excited about is that I'll be using the new Thank You Next makeup collection from REM Beauty. So I am gonna start off with later liquid shadow. So now we're just gonna blend it really gently. Look how easy they blend. Next up, I'm using my coal eyeliner in Teddy Bear, a must have. So we're gonna start to create the wing shape with this, okay? See that? Just follow your lash line and go straight out. Don't worry, we're gonna blend this all out. It's all gonna make sense in a minute, okay? You see how it's already giving like a little cat eye effect? That's what we want. So I'm showing you guys like an easy way of how to recreate this thank you next look. This is like 2023 thank you next, okay? All right guys, so now the fun part. I'm gonna use the Thank You Next palette. All right guys, <gasps> look how pretty. So first we are going to kind of just define the wing and we're gonna keep the definition but just blend it out. The shadows are super pigmented so you don't need to do too much. I'm all about like mixing shadows so don't be scared to like mix, have fun. With this palette you can create so many looks so just like play, there's no right or wrongs with makeup. All right, now we will use our pinky gold shimmer color here. I like to press because it makes the shadow kind of stay put and it keeps it right where I want it, which is the lid and right in here. All righty, and now this little yummy cranberry color. Remember, when you press, you get more pigment. So press, and then you can blend afterwards. So we're giving this crease some multicolor love. All right. It is so stinking pretty. All right, guys, so I'm gonna use my liquid shadow in Comet, which is one of my favorites. I like to use it to just kind of brighten up the insides of the eyes. Next up, I'm using the eyeliner marker, which is the funnest and scariest part, right? I'm sure you guys can relate to this. Let's do it. All right, if you haven't tried this, you're missing out. And look at the really fine point. I mean, it is, you can create the best cat eye with this. And not even cat eye, but even if you want like a, just a natural line, ugh, it's so good. And I'm just doing a thin line all across and I'm making it thicker towards the end because that's what gives us that cat eye. I'm just gonna connect this with the bottom of her eye. Oh, look at the camera. <gasps> Pretty. Perfect. All right, guys, mascara time. Look at the fluffy brush. And I like to start at the base with mascara and wiggle up. When you wiggle, it gives you like maximum volume like right away. Mascara is like one of my favorite things ever. For my limited edition, eternally meowing lashes with pink gemstones. Look how cute, I'm fluffy. So I am applying the lash glue to the lash band. So then I give it about like mm, 10, 20 seconds to kind of for the glue to get tacky or like sticky and then we apply it, okay? So once you place it on the eye, then you can kind of just move it around, okay? The band is super thin and like soft, so it's really easy to just like mold these right into your lashes. That's what makes them look more natural. And I like doing really like fluffy natural brows. And I focus on the tail first to kind of give that more definition. Then we go on the inner part. All right, now let's use our Space Shape Brow Gel. Oh, so let's brush it through. And I like to use this just to kind of keep brows in place, lift them up, give that like cute, like brow lamination look. So we are going to use Audition on the apples of the cheeks and up above the contour, okay? And then we just blend it. Look how freaking pretty. Cool. Miss Saturn is my baby. And I put Miss Saturn right above, uh, not above, right on top of the blush, okay? So we're gonna keep her nice and high. So I am going to start with the Practically Permanent Lip Marker. This is Booked and Busy. 
The reason why I like to do this is because it adds another like wash of color on your lips. Now I'm gonna use the lip liner in EQ. It's, it is soft, it's creamy, it goes on like butter. And what I love about these is they stay on all day. So now let's do the on your collar lipstick in roller skates. <gasps> Ooh. I, this just glides on, it's so pretty. Describe the perfect pink lipstick, roller skates. Last but not least, our utmost importance lip gloss. Look how much bigger it is. And it's not sticky, which is really cool. The prettiest pink lip. All right guys, so that was my thank you next tutorial. I hope you guys loved it. I had so much fun doing it. Yeah, play around with it, have fun, and I know you will love it. Thank you guys for watching.